D&D Beyond. You know what's great about D&D Beyond, Tell guys? Us, everything. Everything. But also, they don't know what they're sponsoring every week. They know generally that the show, <laughs> well, the show that we do, we play the D&Ds and stuff. They, they, they get that, but they don't know this segment what they're going to get. Sometimes they get an, an award-winning song parody from yours truly. Other times, they get a glimpse into history. And that's what we're going to do today. Sometimes they get a shark costume. Sometimes they get a shark costume. <laughs> but you guys know that I was a huge fan of the sitcom You've Got Gale growing up. Oh. It only <laughs> it only ran one episode, but it was it was massively influential to me. Yeah. And I've and I've brought script pages from the the oh. episodes, the lost episodes in the past. I've 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 presented things that I've found uh, about <clears throat> You've Got Gale. Um, starring our own oh Ashley Johnson, yeah. but you were so good. At it. I was yeah. so much. Yeah. So I was just at the. I, as you guys know, every Wednesday I go to the film and TV archives in Hollywood, <laughs> and I was there yesterday, oh and goodness. I found something that I did not know existed. CBS, when they put out this program, were so forward thinking that they already had a movie spinoff planned for Whoa. You've Got Gail, and they shot a trailer for it. Now the trailer has been lost to time. They only saved it on Betamax uh, tape, but. The transcript of the trailer exists. So tonight, with D and D Beyond's support, we will present uh, a radio play of sorts of the trailer for the spin-off movie for the show You've Got Gale <laughs> that it definitely existed in the 80s. Oh, that's what this How is. did you find this? It was I it, just, so it's it was deep in the back of the, the, back the of library. The back. Anyway, Matt Making will be narrating. Uh, okay. Marisha's going to be doing sound effects for us. Everyone's playing a little role. <laughs> Uh, maybe some music, Matt, if you don't yeah, mind. Do oh. Just a little action. <laughs> and this is a trailer that you would have seen in a movie theater in like 1985. Take it away. This summer, a new hero will rise. Save the orphans! I'm gonna take out their headquarters! Oh, no, it's a suicide mission! They have missile launchers! <laughs> missile launchers? <laughs> I eat missile launchers for brunch. Do oh, doom. A hero without a past. You doom, shot doom. all of my men. How did you find me? Who are you? Folks call me <laughs> Justice, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> On the battlefield, she's an ice cold killer. But in the bedroom, a red hot lover. Bring. My God, what did you do to me last night? Everything your body wanted. <laughs> Cigarette? Thanks, but I don't think that cigarette could handle me. <laughs> A hero with one name. Damn it! I'm the President of the United States of America, and I'm ordering you to stand down! Excuse me, Mr. President. Why don't you gag me with a spoon? Don't go. Oh. Ashley Johnson is Gale in Gale Force 5, a Gale in your coffin. Gagging spoons in theaters everywhere this Memorial Day. Oh. Just like when you were younger. Yeah, it is. took a while to get back in. <laughs> it took me back. Wow. It's a shame that never made it. To the <laughs> it's a shame oh. it was going to be released. Oh, 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 wow. uh, when did we shoot it? How much did you actually shoot? How much did we shoot? We shot a whole film. It was, it was five hours, but. Uh, <laughs> Guys, it, it just was, was completely too long. shot on Betamax. <laughs> it was. When it I was, was a kid, when I was a kid in the '80s, Terminator 2 and Gale Force 5 informed uh, my, my whole childhood. Yes. I had a poster. Absolutely. I had a poster over in my house. Both too. both yeah. good uses of the LA River too for yeah. chasing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, really thank good you, use of Beyond, uh, for bringing bringing wonderful art like this back into our lives. We appreciate you. Please subscribe uh, if you haven't already. Thank you, Sam. Wow. Thank you, D&D Beyond. Just to remind you, because I don't think it came up in that entire spot, D&D Beyond is a service where you can take your D&D characters <laughs> digitally <laughs> and keep all the character information online. It's very useful. We use it too. Thank you, D&D Beyond. Oh. <laughs> Um, the main thing that people have been 
wondering and uh, talking about on on the the Facebooks and stuff is the new baby. Travis and Laura aren't here. You guys m might have noticed, and everyone's like, "How was how was the birth? How how did it all go down two Thursdays ago?" And so uh, I have taken a little license, but I have scripted a bit of a radio play that we're all going to participate in <laughs> to t to show our viewers how it all went down two Thursdays ago and how the birth came to be. Uh, Talison will be narrating, I will be playing the role of Travis, Marisha will be playing the role of Laura. Sorry, Laura. Liam will be the doctor. A real job, Dad. Uh, and Matt will be uh, a couple different roles, okay. and uh, including Matt Mercer. Oh, and I can probably do that. We're just gonna we're just gonna see what happens. <laughs> this is a first performance of, of its kind. Uh -huh. uh, take it away, <laughs> Talison. Exactly two weeks ago, at the Willingham House. Babe, can you bring me some <laughs> onion rings and Miller ice with lime? The Cowboys game starts in like six weeks and I want to be ready. <laughs> Darling, something magical is happening. Our boy, the magical light that will illuminate the universe, will join us soon. Huh, what, right now? But the Cowboys! Travis, dear. Your stallion is galloping to Earth. Humanity must welcome him with loving arms. Ugh, I'll get the stupid hospital bag. Later, in the hospital waiting room. <sighs> hey, Matt, heads up, Laura's having that stupid baby. Oh, yeah, no problem. I'll just throw out the next three weeks of story I'd planned out and totally rework everything to accommodate this. I don't need to sleep, ever. Cool, cool, bro. Hey, can you also tape the Dallas Cowboys game for me? Meanwhile, inside the delivery room. Okay, Mrs. Willingham. It's Bailey. Oh, right, sorry. Uh, anyway, I have uh, <laughs> checked your charts and you should be in a lot of pain right now. I feel nothing but the sweet nectar of Mother Nature coursing through me. My love radiates like luminescent rainbows that will create a new life this day. Really? Well, uh, you should get ready for a long labor. This one could take up to 36 hours. <laughs> <laughs> It is done. <laughs> <laughs> the mortal world has received its divine sheriff. What? That's medically impossible! You didn't even push! Does one need push for the summer to shine down its radiance upon us? Hmm? No. We merely bl bask in its glory. Lo, my baby is perfection. Yes, I am perfection. <laughs> Mother, I bring news from the womb. <laughs> The newly revamped digital character sheet for D&D Beyond has released. What's been added? Improved desktop and tablet views. Better at-a-glance information. Additional ad hoc customization. Custom themes, shareable links, and an updated PDF export. To celebrate, D&D Beyond is giving away a complete legendary bundle to a random viewer. To enter to win, go to twitter.com slash D&D Beyond, N, not and, and, uh, and Sybil, and ready to, and reply to the tw pinned tweet with a shareable link for one of your D&D Beyond characters. The giveaway ends this Sunday night at midnight p.m. You are a miracle, baby. I love you. I love you, Mama Willingham. It's Bailey. And scene. <laughs> Oh, thank you guys. Oh. That was great. That was theater. That was that, that was and strangely that was accurate. To yes. us two minutes ago. Yeah, that was. You were fantastic as Laura Bailey. It was like Travis was here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my Travis is pretty good. Sorry, quick announcement here, guys. Uh -huh. As you know, my campaign to become the president of D&D Beyond president, wow, <laughs> has been suspended. <laughs> that is powerful stuff. <laughs> you are we got an eternal loop going. Yeah. <laughs> I had to suspend my campaign because of a filthy rumor from the O'Brien campaign. Okay. He decided to go low campaign and accuse me <laughs> of colluding with a foreign power, lying about it, and making a deep fake video to to cover it up, which sounds like me, but was not, I promise. So I am announcing that my campaign has resumed as of today because I am a fighter, I am a believer, and because I have a special secret weapon. I am a great debater. In fact, some would say, I'm a master debater. Oh, God. Classic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I got that nickname in high school. <laughs> when I would walk down the hall, kids would say, there goes Sam the master debater. And they were right. I master debate all the time. I master debate in the shower. I master debate in the back of a lift. I will come to your house and master debate in your closet while you are asleep. My master debating never stops. 
Which is why I am challenging Liam O'Brien to a debate right here, sometime in July. You guys can all tune in and watch me master debate Liam O'Brien in front of your own eyes. And I will, I will master debate Liam O'Brien as long as it takes until he comes to the realization that I am even more of a furious master debater than him. But I'll need your help. So go ahead and tweet your debate questions to at D and D Beyond, and make sure to include the hashtag Master Debater. Yeah! <laughs> I'm sure they'll oh, appreciate that. Yes. Thank you for your support, your faith in my campaign. Remember, rule of cool always beats rules as written. God bless Sam America. Everyone, master debate yourself tonight. <laughs> wow! Wow! Did you ever, uh, did you ever master debate backstage at Les Mis? Uh, yeah, I had a robe. Okay. okay. <laughs> that would cover up myself while I was master debating. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to be snug. That's all. <laughs> when, when did you start master debating? Uh, you know. <laughs> I think I really found I had a knack for it around 12 or 13. Really? Yeah, yeah. that's when I really yeah. got into master debating. Yeah. <laughs> Spent a lot of time. Did you want to teach you how to master debate? Uh, I'm self-taught, but recently I've been master debating with my left hand. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for emph emphasis. Yeah, the for gestures. Emphasis. Yeah. And I feel like it really changes the game. You go open hand or closed fist? <laughs> <laughs> what is the longest span of time you've ever master debated? Oh, I can master debate. <laughs> for up to two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so you wouldn't have what some politicians would call stamina. <laughs> some politicians would call it that. But I gotta go to sleep after I master debate, so you know, I'm pretty relaxed. You would think with all that master debating, you would be a perfect candidate for filibuster, though, right? Yeah. Hey, it's true. Yeah, yeah. Were, were you on a, a master debating team? Uh, yes. in, in college, I did master debate with a group, <laughs> but it was just once, and it didn't go. It, it didn't feel right. right. Mm. I was pretty drunk. Oh last God. One. <laughs> Master debating is best when it's one-on-one. -on -one. It's true, it really is. And that's what it'll be in July. Thank you, D&D Beyond. God, I love politics. Oh man, my heart rate is up, elevated. Yeah. Have they fired us yet? I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Matt has been blue screening for the last minute and a half. Uh, Ow. Thank you, D&D Beyond. Oh, I am no. so sorry. <laughs> no. No. Hold my calls and greetings, netizens! It's the master of the dark web, online known as BlackWillow73 at AOL.com. I'm cracking code and spinning my webs with ease, because my hardware is protected by NordVPN, a personal virtual private network service provider with 5,000 servers in 60 countries that shields you from hacksaws like me, protects you on public Wi-Fi, and even blocks annoying ads. Yeah, I know everything about the info super byway, except the identity of that black hat evildoer, Kryptonic Override. But tonight, I'm gonna jack in <laughs> to their mainframe and expose them to the worldwide world. Here we go. Jam in the Matrix, hash in the DDR. What? I've been sliced! Oh, so close, Black Willow. But I, Kryptonic Override, am also using NordVPN. They have a promo going on right now which gives you 70% off a three year plan and one extra month for free. Oh well, have a slice day. <laughs> I failed. Or did I? Computer, reload that audio clip, but retro-flop the transmission. <laughs> okay, now unroute the bus map and quantize the Fraggle Rock. Closer, now backdate the disco dongle and enhance. Have a slice day. Slice. Slice, slice, slice. Have a slice day. <laughs> <gasps> Wait, Kryptonic Override is Laura Bailey? <laughs> you cracked my code, Black Willow. Let's settle this the way all elite hacksers do, with a head-to-head hack-off. <sighs> do you accept? 
0111101, which is binary for yes. Ready, set, hack. Oh, you put the spyware on my aux interface? Try re troglodyting the CD ROM. Oh. A triple ASCII counter virus, 1995 called. Sandra Bullock wants her moves back. <laughs> oh, you're trying to scramble my Jumbotron? Yeah, good luck. It's password protected. Ah, it's Swordfish. It's always Swordfish. Damn it! Ah, no! You're gleaming my cube! That's right, Black Willow. You're going down. Huh? huh? Wait, we both got sliced? Simul sliced. But by by who? How? Oh my god. The Ultra Codex. It's it's going to infect the whole world. Which means we're going to have to hack the planet. <laughs> Find out what happens next time. Find out what happens next time NordVPN sponsors the show. Until then, learn more at nordvpn.com slash critical role. And be sure to use our coupon code critical role at checkout. Uh, Matt, hack, hack to you. you. <laughs> I think you mean if. If I. <laughs> yeah. I'm, Laura Bailey. Laura Bailey. Oh. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my. Now I'm invested. <laughs> I'm seeing the table for the first time. Is that a motherfucking fishbowl? Yeah, yeah, there's lots of stuff, Liam. Anyway, <laughs> what Matt said, that is important and vital. Anyway, the bit. Um, so we, we all got our start as voiceover actors, and for this week's D&D &D Beyond ad, I wanted to bring us back to our roots with an old-fashioned radio play. Now, voiceover really became an art form in the 30s and 40s with radio dramas like The Shadow, Mercury Theater, The Green Hornet, and my favorite part of these uh, classic radio dramas was the sound effects. So, tonight, the Critical Role, no, that's mine! Oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the, criti the Critical Role radio players are gonna take you back to the golden age of radio with me, Sam Regal, providing sound oh, effects. God. Okay, here we go. Okay, ready? <laughs> We now return to our regularly scheduled broadcast, The Adventures of Detective Clint P. McGinty, Private Dick. Come on in. Chief, I came as soon as I heard the dispatch. Somebody got iced? Where's the Vic? Hold on, McGinty. Let me light another cigarette. I'm afraid it's murder, McGinty. That's why you're here. You're the best dick I know. Well, if you want to solve this case, you're going to need all the dicking I can give. We all will. Walk with me, McGinty. The body's over here. Just past this carpet. <laughs> Should I follow you over this gravel area? Of course. <laughs> Let's stop here on this mound of silverware. Kick that vacuum cleaner aside. <laughs> and get rid of that pussy. Ow! <laughs> there you go. Okay. One dead body. Good gravy, that's a lot of blood. I better investigate it by touching it and squishing it around. <laughs> In his toilet bowl. Curious. Yes, interesting. Mmm, yes, of course. Well, I. <laughs> I think I know who committed this crime. What? How? There's blood spatter here on this bell. Oh, oh shit! There it is. <laughs> and here on this clock. And here on this lightsaber. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> There's a reason they call me the best goddamn dick in LA. So, who did it? We're halfway done, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the only person I know who can kill this quickly and efficiently is none other than D&D &D Beyond. D&D &D Beyond? D&D &D Beyond. In any violent encounter, D&D &D Beyond makes you much more efficient, so you can slay your enemies without having to look up rules and... <laughs> 
Sorry, I had curry before. Continue. <laughs> anyway, D and D Beyond is the perfect resource for anyone who wants to defeat a creature in record time. And <laughs> I also ate corn, cauliflower, and diet coke with Mentos. It, it's fine, Chief. I'll just moonwalk over here. As I was saying, the killer must have subscribed to dndbeyond.com and gotten access to all their great content. Uh, I forgot to tell you, I also ate Red Hots, a hoppy IPA, <laughs> deviled eggs, raw artichokes, and Funyuns and bean dip. Uh, sorry, Chief, I can't take the smell anymore. I'm going to jump out this window. Thus concludes another adventure of Detective Clint P. McDinginty, Private Dick. Hey, I did it! <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck is the matter with you? <laughs> I did it! You, yeah, do we, you do did. We, do we clap? Whatever Sam did, yeah, he did it! Yeah. Silver. Nice. Really good. Oh, wow. uh, that was my dream come true. I'm, I'm so happy that, that we and our sponsors can facilitate yeah. your private dream, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Thanks, guys. Wow. Oh, that was real fun. No, thank you, Sam. And thank you, D&D &D Beyond, for your infinite patience. Oh, 